Hello and welcome back to another video, and today we are back here in the world of Unity. Um, last time I tried this, it was a it was a disaster. So I'm starting a whole new project. I'm using this time I'm using Bracky's How to Make a Video Game in Unity tutorial series. So I think I think this is gonna go well. Hopefully I don't jinx it, but we'll find out. So um, without further ado just get right into it. So let's begin by exploring the user interface. So in the middle here is Okay, so I just learned alt left click lets you pan around. Which is um Well, I uh, I'll just go on the record and say hey, I hate that. Um in Godot it's just middle click. But in here middle click does this weird thing. All right, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so apparently, okay, so um, we're adding objects. So now to do that, you just do, yeah, there we go. And it puts like in a random location. So what you can do is you can right click and click reset. That's pretty nice. Well, I'm learning, I'm learning so much about Unity. Great. And then material. We'll name this material. Oh boy, okay, so we've got our our floor here. And our um oh gosh. And our what I look at? And our player here. Now we're gonna give the player a material so that it's distinguishable, so that it's not just white on white. So where is he? He's in assets. What's this scenes folder? That's weird. Alright, whatever. Um what was it? Material. Alright. Oh, I'm willing to bet it's this one, Albedo. Just like in Godot. Let's give it um Oh you know what? We should go we should go on brand. And would you look at that? There we go. Oh, and we should really make we should make another material. Material, material. All right, ground, or I called it the floor, the floor material. Let's just make this black, um, metallic. Let's just make everything metallic, yeah. Um, and let's give that to the ground. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're adding the physics rigid body component to our player character. Now that's familiar. That's rigid bodies. Those are in Godot. And then when we play it, oh, uh -huh. physics. All right, so we've got a little skybox here for our camera. I'm just gonna use the same color as the cube can see what our game world looks like. Wow, that's a little that's a little jarring actually. I don't know, maybe I'll change it later. Hey, I just maximized the game. So Brackies just did something that um I don't quite understand. So he opened up file and there was a save scenes option. Which I do not see here. Um, and I thought, oh, maybe that's why, um, in the last video I wasn't able to save my scene. It's because you need to save the scenes, like, separately, it's like different files or something. Um, <clears throat> or, uh, or I guess you do that in Godot, too, but it just, does it, it just does it automatically. So maybe it does it automatically here, too. Maybe they changed it, because this video was made back in 2017, this Brackies video. So, I don't know, but that still doesn't answer why it wasn't working in the last video. So I don't know. I don't know if that even made sense. Whatever. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, it, it, it saved it as simple or sample scene. So if I can rename this, um, can I can I rename this? Oh, I guess not. All right, whatever. <laughs> All right, so the video's over. So now I'm moving on to the next video titled Programming. So let's see how well I fare. Uh, 
All right, let's see if it works. And there it is. <laughs> well, I basically have mastered programming, I think, in C Sharp. Oh, there it is. All right. All right, so I just realized that I've been recording for half an hour, um, and I'd rather not spend all of eternity uh, editing editing this video. So um, I'm gonna follow the rest of this tutorial um, tomorrow, and then I will show you the finished product. So yeah, and here I am. It's been a couple days, um, and uh, yeah, I have. <laughs> I've made a game in Unity. Guys, this is crazy. Take a look at this. Wow. I can control it. Oh, and then I can die. Oh. And there we go. And if I can, if I can actually beat my own, my own game, I can show you that I also implemented a jump feature. And I did that. I did that without Bracky's help, by the way. I figured out how to do that with, with my with my knowledge of C sharp that I gained from watching the tutorial. It doesn't let you doesn't let you jump in the air, so it has like a like a ground check. And uh, so yeah, it's pretty nice. And uh, we can slide off and die. And that's that's fun. So um, yeah, that's uh that's basically it. I still have three more videos to go, so I'll probably finish those up, and then I'll upload my game to my itch or something. I remember in my last video, uh, I was I was scoring, I was giving points to Unity and Godot, um, and something something I want to say is that um, every time you edit a script, well, like if I just if I just like do this or something, I just, if I just change something, and then I go back in. It does this whole loading thing, which is just really obnoxious. It doesn't do that at all in Godot. Um, so that's another point for Godot. Something I will say is that um, I think it's really easy to make like really good looking things in Unity. Um, the, for some reason the text looks really blurry. I don't know, it didn't look like that in, in the Bracky tutorial, but otherwise things look pretty nice. Um, I've got this like nice fog effect. You know, I could easily see this being like one of those like hyper casual games you find on the app store, you know? Oh yeah, there's, these are physics. These are rigid bodies, so they move around as well. So yeah, all in all, this has been quite the interesting experience. Uh, uh, leave a like if you want to see part three of my Unity adventure. So um, yeah, I think that is just about it. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.